Hi everyone, welcome to Nat's Kind of Life. You know, there's nothing I enjoy more than sitting back and watching an episode of V. Morgan is Dead after a long day on set. And something I've noticed is, they sure do drink a lot of tea. Tea! Tea, 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 tea. Since V. Morgan is on the sixth floor, I thought I would give you six uses for tea. It sounds like it's not interesting, but it will be. Just watch. Use number one is pretty obvious, ingesting it. So we all love to drink tea, but what a lot of people don't know is you can actually use it to flavor food as well. So sometimes what I like to do is take a green tea, make a big soup pot of it, and then use that water from the green tea to flavor my rice. If you're feeling really creative, you can make your own tea blends like I like to do. So I like to pick up ingredients from a bulk food store. I'll get a base tea, like a black tea or a green tea, and then I'll add things like cranberries, slivered almonds, coconut, whatever you want. It might be disgusting. It might be delicious. That's part of the fun. Use number two, gifting it. Everybody likes receiving tea. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. This blend that I've made, I like to call Moroc Star. It's a blend of Moroccan mint and green tea. I've named a couple other flavors, but they are too inappropriate to say on this channel. Use number three is getting that stink out. Tea is great because it smells nice, so something I like to do is make little fabric fresheners or room fresheners out of them. You can leave them behind your pillows, or in your underwear drawer, or your roommate's underwear drawer. I'm using some mint tea here, putting it in, tying it up, and add a little essential oil. So I've used a mint tea and I'm gonna use a clove oil. Add a few drops, now it smells like Christmas my least favorite holiday actually, but anyway. Use number four is cold compresses for your eyes. Uh, these are not wet, but you just wet them, put them on your eyes, feel super relaxed. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna mess up my makeup. T use number five, throw them at your enemies. I think it's better if they're wet when you... <laughs> anyway, use number six, making oldie timey paper. So if you have a school play, need to make some props, have a school project on pirates maybe, or you want to send somebody a love threat, yeah I said love threat, uh, you can stain some paper with some tea. So it's good if at first you just do some swipey motions and get it all covered, and then you can go in later once it dries with some detail, et voila. Stay tuned, because next week I'm going to show you what I've done with this oldie timey paper. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, because I would like to know if you are a tea person or a coffee person. I'm actually a coffee person. I don't even really drink tea. But I do use it a lot in other ways that I just showed you. Mm. Can somebody get me another coffee and make sure that people are subscribing? Thanks.